Welcome to Good Mythical More. Are we here? Did we make it? We made it. Yes, we did. All right, so we're going to be looking at some uh, hypothetical life hacks in given situations, but as you know, you can only choose uh, one of two life hacks when uh, presented with, with, with a couple. But first, we're going to do something that you're going to be good at. We're going to list oh, them see, all. See, I hate it when you do this because it really applies the pressure. Your favorite genre of television, game shows. Jeopardy. Uh, no whammies. That's not the name of the show. That's what I call it. <laughs> Press your luck. Uh, Price is right. <laughs> I was going to say Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I forgot the name of the Let's show. start over. Come on. We're both. We, Jeopardy. We really suck at this. It's, Jeopardy. It's like performance anxiety. Jeopardy. We, oh, you're still going to start starting the, over. Say the ones that you said. Jeopardy. Press your luck. Wheel of Fortune. Price is right. $25,000 pyramid. Bumper stumpers. What? Scrabble. That's a board game. I think they did it as a game no, show at no, one point. No, no, uh, The one where you whisper. Password. Password. We're so bad at this. It. Keep going. Though. Let's just. Let's just not. It's not a game back and forth. This it's is just, just us talking. It's just two guys naming game shows in a park. Yeah, we're okay, in a park. It's not, it's, it's not a competition. Birds. It's just like, hey, think of some nobody's game shows. Wa- nobody's judging. Nobody's judging us. Us. Uh, think of some game shows. Um, uh, the dating game. Um, the newlywed game. Uh, the newly wedded dating game. Double Dare, technically a game show. Um, fun House. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that one. It's a rip off of Double Dare. Um, think about the game show network. One time I was in Australia and I turned on uh, a, a television, tele- I turned on a television tonight <laughs> in Australia and they were playing the most boring game show that I've ever seen in my life. I don't remember the name of it, but I, I remember you told me they were very polite to each it, other. It was just very dry. But I kind of loved it at the same time. One of the game shows, I was more into the hosts, like Burt Convy, Chuck Woolery. Yep. Um, Peter Tamarkin. Where's the one where people dressed up like different characters? Um, behind door number three. What's that? The one that um, Wayne Brady hosts now? What's that called? Let's no, make a deal. Make it, let's make a deal. Yeah, see, this is a fun thing to do at the park. <laughs> I watch Let's Make a Deal. Just name things. Stevie, can you think of any? My favorite nope. part, a last one. out. Let's make a deal was when he, like, right in the end of the show, he would go out into the audience and he would, like, make a deal with people. It's like, if you can show me a, um, like, a, a 50 cent piece right now, I'll give you $20. Or if you can, sh- if you can show me a toothpick, it's like people would have to produce things off of their purse. And they would, so you would bring a lot of stuff to well, Let's Make a Deal. Family Feud. Oh, how could we forget Family Feud? Family Feud is the best game show of all time. You think so? I believe so. I think Family Feud is the best game show of all time. Um, to Tell a Lie, I watched that with my mom. Was it, I think it's called, um, is it called To Tell a, it's, it's To Tell the Truth? To Tell the Truth, is it, there's a bunch of retro shows coming back. Can't remember what that one was called. It's where the people are lying. It's kind of like our lineup game. Yeah, but it, it this, had, um, this good Mythical Moore is off to a banging start. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> Stevie, let's take it up a notch. Give okay. us, give let's us play some our own Yeah, so show. I have some uh, Would You Rather hack scenarios if these if these hacks could be invented which one would you choose for instance would you rather have a hack that tells you exactly it's all in in, in all caps when your avocado is ripe and how long it will be good for or a hack to never encounter a red light while driving oh my gosh that's red light i mean what i mean i can tell when an avocado is right yeah and how often do i have an avocado well I gotta say, it is annoying. The avocado is an annoying fruit, you know, because it's like, sometimes it's surprising. Sometimes you're like, okay, I'm waiting for a week here, and then today's the day, I'm preparing my toast, I got my chips out, whatever you're doing. You cut open the avocado, and it is an utter utter disappointment. Or it's rotten, it's all brown. You've, You've set yourself up, you've anticipated it for a week, and you're let down in that moment. Well, you're not going to talk me into thinking it's more important than not never getting a red light. Never getting a red light would just be. I mean, that would add like a glorious. year to your life in this town. I will say. Uh, I mean, it feels good when you're like on your on your normal route, and then all of a yeah, sudden yeah. it's you like, like you don't get a good day. you don't get any red lights. It's like that that just feels good. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I will say the L.A. traffic is more annoying than a red light in L.A. 
That's true. It's not really the lights that are the exactly. problem. Exactly. So that's not people. really like solving all that much. Well, you know, just flick the stem. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We flick said the flick the stem, you know, inside eats in one of our little factoid moments. Yeah. But then I thought about that later, and it is true. But how many times do you get an avocado that still has a stem on it? <clears throat> yeah, and also, like sure. I said, like the feeling of the, I just feel like that fails. And also, you know, when you're at the grocery store, yeah, but we said it on Inside Eats, so. and you're, um, well, yeah. and you're, uh, you're looking for an avocado, ripe avocado. That's always an, an interesting, awkward if situation. If you want to, if you want to go straight home and make guacamole, yeah. but then there's also another woman who's there who also is looking for the ripe avocado, and your hands touch at the same time, and you look <laughs> at each other, like, uh. And you're like, green lights all the way home, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's only happened to me a couple of times. Let, give us another yeah, one. Yeah, that makes sense. Give, give us another um, one. We're going with the lights. Okay, would you rather have a hack that tells you the lifespan of your pets? Ooh. Mm. Or, I'm guessing it's like when your pet is going to die, essentially, I, is that hack. I don't like to think of Or that. a hack for knowing when someone is lying to you. Ooh. I, do, I just don't want to know. When... I don't think I want to know when Barbara's going to pass. Yeah. It's going to be a really difficult time. Uh, I'm not going to do well for a, quite some time. Um, but, I mean, knowing when somebody's lying to you, that's... I mean, that... Well, first of all... That that may not want to... You may not want to sign up for that, because it probably happens a lot more... I mean, what's the sensitivity? Yeah, because think about the, like... The white, lies white that lies? are good lies, like yeah, like your hair looks good today. Not that I'm saying that about you guys. Not that I'm saying that about you. I'm just saying in general, you wouldn't want to know. You but, want those but, compliments. But but how does my hair look today? It looks great today. Yeah, you're you're right. It's like ignorance. You're telling the truth. We're, we're both going to have to put our hands on an avocado for me to know if you're telling the <laughs> truth or not. Is there a movie that explores this? Because I'm thinking about what women want and what did Mel Gibson learn? He knew what they were thinking at all times. Ooh, I don't think we need to go to Mel Gibson for any uh, for anything. Yeah. How about you say Mel Gibson's character? What did Mel Gibson's character learn in that movie? I mean, I think it. He learned that he didn't want. He I think he probably learned a lot of stereotypical things about women that were reinforced to stereotypes at the time that that movie was made. How does uh, Helen Hunt feel let's, about Let's that? talk about like liar, liar. I think that's... that's well, liar, um, liar is worse because that's on you and you, and you, and you have to tell you the have truth. You to tell the truth. I think being able to tell somebody's lying would be a burden, but it would be kind of a huge asset as well. I mean, first of all, you could do things yeah. like, hey, I want to go make some money tonight, just go play poker. Like there's lots of things that you could do to exploit Well, that. if it was an optional you know? hack, then yes. Like oh, oh, this, it has a switch. You could turn it you off. You know what I mean? Like, well, because it because a hack would. I guess I was thinking, and we were thinking about it that's more true, as like true. you always have to tell. But you, if it's a hack, you could just use it when you want. You do it. your little thing. Yeah. You do your little. Yep. 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 You snap three times, and then they're like, "I'm sorry, I was lying." <laughs> right. Yeah. I th that's th that's that's an easy one for me. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's quite that's power. That's powerful. Okay, would you rather have a hack for getting the perfect temperature out of the shower nozzle or a hack for knowing when food is actually truly expired? Oh, I love this shower nozzle thing because Really? You know, when we were when we were on tour and we were in a different shower every night. Yep. I I had this idea and I never followed through with it. I was gonna I was gonna start doing Instagram stories of me trying to figure out how to work showers. Oh, that would have been a good little series. I know. <laughs> and um, because every shower, every shower is different. You know, it's like, well, do you turn this thing and then you turn that thing and is it coming out of here and it's coming out of there and then you're like, how far? How do you go all the way this far? And you know, I, I of course I developed a system. You turn you turn it all the way, and that way. It decreases the amount of time it takes for it to get warm. So you'll know if you've turned it the right way. If it keeps staying real cold, it's like, all right, now I gotta go all the other way to make yeah, it hot. Right. Kind of a thing. And I it was just annoying unless I made it into content. And since I didn't, that might be my choice. Well, I wasn't thinking about travel necessarily, but I will say one of the things about like my shower at home, and it doesn't matter if someone else is taking a shower. Obviously that impacts it, but I'm saying, let's just say no one else is taking a shower. Why is it 
that the temperature of my water is not consistent with where I put the the thing, depending on like time of day or like it's just I, there's no rhyme or reason. Like I've noticed Might before, be a, like yeah. man, my water is really hot today. Even though I was the first person taking a shower, and then the next day is I'm the first person to take a shower. The weather is the same. I'm like, why isn't it getting hot enough? Do like, you have an electric water heater? No, it's a it's a it's a it's like a gas water tank. You're talking about the instant water. No, no, it's not no, a tank. no, it's no, it, it, it's it, it's gas, it's but it's a tank. It's not tankless. It's gas powered, but it's so it's a like tank. OG. Well, yeah, that 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 has something to do with it. Because it's like what part of the 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 tank it's coming. Is it from an old water heater? No, Look at it was, Stevie it going was, full plumber. It was you. new when we moved in, like six well, years ago. We got an electric water heater and had like a really kind of older gas tank water heater, yeah. and I've noticed that it it doesn't please me as much. Oh, you want? Why didn't you go tankless? You it want is to go tankless. It's a, but it's a. It's tankless electric, I believe. Hmm. Tankless electric. Huh. And what was the other option? Uh, tankless. Oh, in the wood. I was, was like, oh, option? that would be a tank gas one. Um, a hack for knowing when food is actually truly expired. Uh, that one, that because that is a constant discussion in my family. My wife, she is like, if the date has hit, she's she just. Yeah, but you know, there's a she, date. Yeah, but those dates are suggestions. Those, you, you, those people don't know what they're doing. They're just like, we got to put a date on this thing. You know, like, you got to open it up. You got to smell it. You got to lick it a little bit. You got to figure out if it's bad. See, that is a hack, though, is it not? It is. Mm -hmm. But to, you, the only way you know definitively is if you eat it and then find out what happens. Are we split on this one? Seems I think, like this one's down the middle. I think it's definitely the food is what I, is what I would go for because it, it, cause it, I end up asking that question. I eat a lot more than I shower anyway. Yeah, and I, I probably don't. Okay. Show, show them that record. Oh. I want to remind you to get our uh, Rhett and Link sing Brooks and Dunn Here's record. a little hack. We sang Neon Moon, we sang Boot Scoot and Boogie, but we didn't do it in the way that you might expect. The hack for getting this is just uh, being a third degree member of the Mythical Society, uh, quarterly or annual by June 30th. It's a very easy hack, that's all it takes. And then- um, and Collect then our vinyls, be a Mythical Society member. Yeah. All right, give us another. Would you rather have a hack for knowing if it's gonna be a solid fart or a shart? Mm, the word solid before fart is, is confusing. A solid kind fart, I think, misleading. is just a dookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think they mean a fart it, or a shart. Is this a crap or a shart? Yeah. You know, a fart or a shart. Fart or shart. A fart or shart. Solid. Fart or shart. Uh, but straight up fart. Or a hack for knowing exactly how long your poop session will take. Hmm. Mm, uh, I, I think the fart shart is pretty useful. I'm pretty consistent in my poop session lengths. I mean, I, I mean, I guess my family gets upset with me when it's like, when we're always about to do something important, like go, like go out together like on a trip or just on an adventure or like sit down for dinner or have a family talk or watch Survivor together. I'm always like, well, hold on. I, got, I need to go use the restroom first. And, and what that like, means oh, is, no, uh, Dad. He, he's going to be crapping for, I'll be like, well, this time I'm going to be crapping for, but I'm very consistent in how long I crap. It's just a little longer than that. Mine has nothing to do with how long I crap. It has long, it's like what I get into on the internet. It, you know, it's just like, it's like what rabbit hole are you going to go down while you're on the toilet? But having that knowledge, how would you use that? Because I would tell my family, all right, this is going to be a 12 minute. I think they already know to expect it to be at least 10 minutes, probably. Right. That's what I'm saying. Fart and chart. I mean, you know. There's don't... a lot more at stake in your pants. In a, but here's the thing you're going to use that first tack, or you're going to use the fart and chart much less often. As you get older, you probably use it more and more, though. I just, I'm, I'm not a sharder. I just don't. I mean, I haven't charted in weeks. <laughs> no, I mean, I haven't charted in years. I might have, yeah, I, I'm hard pressed to, to locate the last time I charted. The only time I've ever charted is if like something was badly wrong, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I'm sick. 
Yeah, never, or, or some I've never people, like been like perfectly healthy, having a great day, and then farted and sharted by accident. And I fart a lot. Like yeah. I mean, I, there's no no two ways about it. I will flatulate in my in my real life. Yeah, right. And um, I do. I but uh, sharting's not a problem with me. But it w- could become a problem. Yeah, you're talking yeah. about as you get older. Yeah, with like sphincter loosening. Yeah, yeah. You just become a little bit less aware. Less. So you're looking, you're integrated. looking towards like retirement age. Okay, yeah, I'll go with the shark. Me too. Would you rather have a hack to have six pack abs whenever you want, or <laughs> a hack to wake up with perfectly groomed hair every day? Huh. I mean, the amount of time that we spend grooming our hair. Let's be real. That could be used for lots of things. To benefit society or selfishly ourselves, which is kind of what the definition of self. Yeah, but I mean, I've always really liked the idea of having abs, but never really gotten close to it. And, yeah. And, and and the idea of like being able to just like press a button and like like, <laughs> like so there's like a vacuum pack <laughs> thing that happens. Like that would be like a vacuum awesome. seal. Like going to going to the beach today, <laughs> doing a thing. You know. Would you leave them on constantly though? Only when I don't have my shirt so. off. And I don't want him to be like. Why? Is there a burden to having six pack abs with your shirt on? I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. But I mean, yeah, I feel like I don't want those abs that it looks like you're, you're like really trying too hard. I want it to be, I want it like to be you're like. Ta- you're trying to talk at the same time. Well, I just want it to be like, oh, I didn't expect him to have abs. I mean, Unexpected, you know, like, well, I can almost see, I can kind of see muscles there. Not like, right. oh, this guy does nothing except think about what he eats, because yeah, I don't want to be that guy either. Constantly crunching. Right. And is it just abs? You don't get definition in like the chest and stuff? It appears to just be abs. So you got to wear midriffs. Half shirts. Yeah, yeah, because if you're, if you're, if you have really great abs and everything else is a little bit less defined, that could get weird. I like I like fixing my hair. It's part of it's part of Yeah, I enjoy my hair time. It's me time. <laughs> Definitely yeah. the abs. Yeah, yeah. We're both going abs here. Yeah. I mean I'd shark daily to get abs. Oh no, that's an interesting question. You get six pack abs, but you shark daily, which I actually think is actually a consequence of. I think a lot of people are on types of diets that cause sharding on a regular basis yeah. in order to have abs. To get the Red and Link Sing Brooks and Dunn vinyl, join third degree quarterly or annual by June 30th. MythicalSociety.com for details.